Hey guys, Dylan from Plaid, and today we're gonna to talk all about the Folk Art Drizzle Slotted Strainer Set. Fluid art is a great way to express yourself and have fun, but before we get started, you wanna make sure that you are protecting your workspace, your clothing, and covering anything that you don't want paint to get on. So these strainers come in a set of three, so you've got three different sizes and three different numbers of teeth. We have so many different designs using all the different formulas of paint. Um, it's great to have a really predictable design that you can just pour over and over again and just have fun with color palettes. So I'm gonna set my workstation up to start pouring. All right, so I have grabbed my strainer. This is the smallest of the three, and I'm just gonna plop that right in the center of my canvas. Okay, so we are going to use one of our metallics, which is Cloud Surf. This is that nice pearly white color, right out of the bottle. We're gonna use three of our flash iridescents. We're gonna start with Optimistic Flash, this kind of vibrant purple. Then we're gonna use Sky Flash. And when these flash iridescents dry down, you can see so many different colors. And then finally, we're gonna use Mint to Be Flash. All right, so there's all of our colors. So now I'm just gonna alternate between all of them. And once we get enough paint on the canvas, we'll start to swirl it around. Like I said, you can get such a reliable shape out of this. Basically, no matter what your color palette is, you're gonna have a cool design. Okay, and then I'm gonna finish up with my optimistic flash. The next thing we're going to do is grab our strainer and pull it directly off so that when you do start to swirl, you don't have any kind of little marks. It's okay if it drips in there, that just adds to the effect, but we're gonna try and get it up in one motion. Okay, so now we're gonna swirl our pattern around. And I really like the shape that these strainers make, so I try to keep the pattern intact. So it's really up to you, the pattern you get. Sometimes you get really big patterns, sometimes you get like really nice little tight guys. It all just depends on the technique you're trying out. Okay, and once I'm happy with that shape, you can see all those little veins coming through. It kind of looks like a burst open flower. I'm going to use my butane torch and just pop the few bubbles that I'm just gonna pop those really quick and then we'll be all done. All right, so I'm really happy with that. When this dries down, it's gonna have a really super smooth, glossy finish, and then your piece will be done. I love these strainer tools. They're so versatile, and they can help you create so many different techniques. Check out all of these projects and more at platonline.com slash drizzle.